This musical has received four and five star reviews across the board. Everyone is praising it so much and I'm so excited to go tonight and see it. Of course, I'm talking about guys and dolls at the Bridge Theatre. So you know the drill. I'm going to take you with me and tell you a little bit more about my experience. So let's go. As this is off West End Theatre, we are not heading to Piccadilly Circus and Leicester Square like I normally take you. But we are going to London Bridge and then we're going to go for a little walk and the theatre should be there. a really good theatre to go to if you're visiting London for the first time because as you can see the walk is absolutely amazing and you can see some of the major light lines as well. I did get out at London Bridge Station but this is Tower Bridge as they are within walking distance and the theatre is literally next to it. We were very nice and early, so we managed to have a little browse around the theatre. This is a pretty new theatre, so there's a very spacious entrance area where you have some seats, bar and cloakroom. It was a warm day, so lots of people decided to unwind ahead of the show. Such a glamorous mirror. Information about cast and merch are readily available with lots of options to choose from but you might not be able to take it in with you if you have a standing ticket due to security reasons so try and factor that in as you will need to leave it in the cloakroom. Even with being there a little bit earlier than we needed, the time has flown by and we were heading into the theatre and as you enter, the set takes you to a different dimension. Neon lights, the sound of New York City streets, pretzels, hats and drinks up for grabs. For us with standing tickets, it felt like we are immersed in the show as soon as we entered. This is my wristband that is now off my hand, but you've seen it all. I don't think that the words can really describe how good of an atmosphere there was throughout the show. I went with really high expectations, as you could tell, because I've really read loads of great reviews. But I really think this is the show that you should go and check out this summer. Like if there's one show that you're going to go and see, make it guys and dolls. Firstly, it is in such a great location, you're going to really enjoy being there. The theatre is beautiful and different and spacious, but above all, this production is definitely worth seeing for multiple reasons. And now I'm going to give you my three. Good time is guaranteed with this show. At several occasions when I had a chance to like glance over the audience, everyone was smiling so wide and everyone is so happy it just felt amazing i do need to caveat this to say that i had a standing ticket for this show so that means that i was there like literally next to the actors at some point the main um cast member was behind me but obviously you can also get seated tickets and this means that you won't be necessarily where the action happens but obviously you're going to be kind of sitting around if you get a standing ticket you will need to stand for those three hours or you know a little bit longer with the intermission the second reason to see the show is staging and a cast i haven't had a chance to see the show before so i wasn't really that familiar with the story i know that it's like fairly like an iconic musical and that is set in new york and it's like kind of 90 1950s vibe so i was ready for something like how to succeed in business without really trying because that is probably the closest reference that i've had to a musical like this and 
it kind of blew my mind because I wasn't aware how staging will move throughout the show. So there were times when I would be standing in one spot and then the characters would be right in front of me and then there would be something popping out on the other side and then the different scene is going to happen there. So at some point for the second act, I actually wasn't that close to the moving parts of the stage. I kind of like took a few steps back so I can observe a little bit more and also have a chance to move around so maybe there would be a tip i think it's really nice when you're so close to the action and the cast is literally in front of you but maybe balance it out with maybe being a little bit further away so that you can see the staging from a bit more distance but regardless this cast is top notch there are some really great names in the cast like Marisha Wallace and this is an exciting opportunity to see her and witness her artistry so close because she's gonna literally be singing in front of you. I haven't seen a staging like this ever before. So the stage is at the center, but it's kind of divided in a Tetris type of way that sometimes one part is up, one is down, then all of them are coming up and down. It's just like loads of movement for various scenes. And this adds quite a lot of dynamic to the choreography, to just the storyline. And it is very, very clever. So even if you're just going as an observer to see how a show is done, I think this is a very unique show to check out from that perspective as well. Number three, as mentioned at the very beginning, this is a perfect night out musical that you can go and enjoy with whoever you want to enjoy it with. It is on the South Bank, very close to Tower Bridge. It's a perfect way to just maybe book yourself a dinner before the musical or, you know, cocktails after. It feels like basically when the musical ends, that's when your night starts. And I think when we finished with it, I just felt like, okay, let's just continue. Just as a disclaimer, at no point I filmed during the show. This was after the curtain call and during the curtain call. So it was allowed and also uh, there was a bit of a choreography and singing from the cast and also orchestra was playing uh, after they ended and then also some of the cast members stayed on stage and danced with people and it was absolutely amazing so everyone left theater feeling super super happy and that's it like uh, you can see that i'm beaming i think this is a show that i'm going to try and see once again there's still plenty of opportunity to go and see this show because it's on until february 2024 and tickets go for as low as 25 pounds you can check out tickets on your favorite maybe third party providers such as today takes but also you can check them out and buy them on the official bridge theater website so it's up to you how you're going to find it but i also have this video with all possible tips on how you can secure a cheaper ticket also if you are not really sure if you want to see guys and dolls because you haven't heard of this musical before take a look at this video because i'm talking here about top five shows in london that i adore and that are classics that you have to see other than that please feel free to like and subscribe and i'm going to see you in my next video